Can you wash your N95 with soap and water? Or can you put alcohol on it to kind of clean or disinfectant? Or are there other things you can do to get it to be as clean as possible? You know, uh, this is a question a lot of you guys are asking. Let's start with the alcohol bit, okay? Um, first of all, the answer to using alcohol on your N95 mask is, it's a simple no. You don't want to put alcohol or use alcohol on your mask uh, to clean it or disinfect it. And the main reason why is that um, one of the ways that these N95s work, uh, you know the number N95 after the N, and that stands for the fact that these masks filter out at least 95% of particles that you breathe. One of the ways they do that is through an electrostatic charge that's um, uh, uh, present in some of the, uh, the, the materials that are used to make the N95. Using alcohol can kind of sort of deactivate this charge that is definitely needed um, to help filter out particles, which is not what you want. So you don't want to use alcohol on your mask. That's super important. Now, when it comes to washing with soap and water, a lot of people have actually written me on social media saying that they are washing their masks with soap and water to try to clean them. Um, guys, that is also a no-no. You don't want to do that. Um, that also can potentially disrupt, uh, disrupt any charges um, that your mask needs to conduct the business it needs to conduct also may change the fit or the shape you know washing your mask with soap and water is not recommended do not do that so I know you're saying well then what am I supposed to do um, I've done videos on this before but I'll very briefly go through it again I recommend the paper bag method what you do is you get a paper bag after uh, wearing your N95 you literally put it in the paper bag close that up and let it sit for at least a day. Let it sit for longer than that if you can. In the meantime, you should be wearing other N95s that you have available. You wanna keep a number of them in rotation, like number them, maybe put on the strap a number so you know. After you wear one, you put it in a paper bag, let it sit for a day or longer, and literally rotate them every few days, ideally, or at least every 24 hours, okay? You say, what does this paper bag do? Well, the paper bag basically keeps this mask from being out in the environment and contaminating other surfaces or things in your home or what have you. The other thing is it gives it a place for any um, contaminants, viruses, bacteria, or whatever to sort of die off and have it in, in an enclosed space to do that. These bags also tend to be breathable, which I think is a really good thing, okay? There are also formal decontamination methods that hospital systems and other um, sort of specialized centers use to allow N95s to be used for longer, especially when we were in crisis mode during the pandemic. Um, but that's a whole nother ball of wax and doesn't apply to your home use. There's also some evidence uh, from some studies that suggest that uh, heating your mask, steam cleaning it, or boiling it may be a way to sort of clean or disinfect your mask. Those are not methods that I recommend to my patients. I don't because uh, they can be complicated. They could be potentially dangerous. Some of those methods also could change the shape of the mask as well and change the fit. Remember, a big part of whether uh, a big part of these masks working is how well they fit. My recommendation is the paper bag method, which is pretty uh, widely accepted. The other thing you can do is if you're able to set your mask in the sunlight, I'm totally fine with that too. That's easy peasy, uh, safe to do, etc. Um, but I would probably stick, you know, at least what I'm recommending to my patients is sticking to the the paper bag method and reusing them that way uh, but do not wash your masks and also do not use alcohol in your mask guys i hope this is helpful let me know what you think um and i should also say too is as we get more evidence if the guidelines change i will make sure to update you again hope this is helpful i'm dr jen Caudle. if you've not liked and follow my page i invite you to do so for those of you who send stars i respond to you personally thank you so much consider joining my groups called i got the covid vaccine and also dr jen superstars for exclusive content for those of you on youtube hello uh please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates guys i'll see you soon